all of this fits into this. This tiny waist pack is full of my essentials that I need when I fly. Now, for those of you who say, look, I'm not gonna wear a fanny pack and have that on the plane or anything, I'm just not cool with that, I have another option for you. Thanks for coming to my channel today. If you're new here, my channel is everything home, car, plane, or train. I'll have you prepared for just about anything. And today's preparation is for your flight. And that little fanny pack that I always get on the plane with me, what I keep in this, and how I use it on my flight. For those of you flying lately, you know they charge for just about everything. What you put into cargo and check, and even sometimes what you're bringing on the plane. So you want to be strategic about how you pack things and what's gonna be the most useful to you while you're in flight, and that's what this bag is about right here. These things are the things I'm gonna be using in flight. This does not include food and stuff like that, but just things that are gonna keep me comfortable, and this is for shorter flights. I do have another bag and a different way of packing for longer flights, so I'll do a separate video on that, but this is for those short flights where you just need to have everything right at hand and how I keep everything in this tiny little waste pack. For those of you who have seen other videos of mine and how I pack, you know that I'm pretty good at cramming a lot of things into a little space, and that's kind of what happens here. The trick to this is I wanna keep this as streamlined as possible, because when I wear this around my waist, I'm gonna swing it around to the back, so a lot of the times the airline gate attendant doesn't even see it and know that I have some something extra in here in my waist pack that are gonna be outside of my other personal carry-on item. The first thing I'm gonna start off with is a waist pack and just something really thin and nylon like this will work. There's all kinds of these all over the internet. Just find something you like that has a thin little strap so that way you can either wear it across your body this way, you can wear it around your waist if, with the pack in the front, or my favorite is to swing that pack around to the back so that nobody really sees it so I can get on the plane with this and then hooking this right onto the tray table so I can have access to all the goodies that are inside. And if I need to, I could extend it down longer and use this as a footrest to rest my feet on. And for those of us who are short, we know the pain, literally of flying with short legs, you don't really hit the floor comfortably, so your back starts to hurt. So using this as a sling to put your feet into just to help give your feet a little cradle is great, especially on those long flights. As you can see, this pouch has a smaller, a larger, and then a zipper pouch in the back. This is to help me keep everything organized. Let's go through the front pouch first. So the first thing I have in here is some lip ointment. I like to keep my lips nice and smooth because when you fly, it ends up being very dry. The next thing I have are some mints from a hotel that I was at once. So you'll see that um, there's tiny little mints because sometimes you just need a mint. And then the last thing I have in this pocket is a little placards flosser so that if I'm eating something and something's stuck in my tooth, this is going to help me get it all cleared out and not be in any pain. This is the main pocket that I have in here. And so there's quite a few things in here. The first thing I'm gonna take out is a power cord because this is something that I think everyone should have. This one has, as you can see here, it has a lightning. It also has a U micro USB and a USB-C cord. Now, this is a three-in-one. I can charge three different things at once with this cord. It's about a three-foot cord. And that's to go with my night core battery. So you can see here I can plug in USB-A or USB-C. You can see how thin this is. And this is a great battery to have to charge up my phone or my iPad. The next thing I have is a one-gallon bag. All right, I always bring my iPad with me because if I'm going to be working or I wanna watch a video, this is what I bring. But I don't wanna put it in the seat pocket in front of me because I've had it where some kind of icing or something was on a napkin and I slipped it down in there and it got all over my iPad. So I bring a bag and I just put it inside a one gallon bag, just like this, and then I slip this into the seat pocket. That way I can take it in and out as many times as I need to, and then that way whatever's going to be down in there, whether it's a snotty tissue, um, some kid's cupcake wrapper, a piece of gum, yeah, I've had that too, 
it'll be on here. And then at the end, if I have to, I will just take this and if it's messy, throw this away and my iPad is protected. So that's my answer for those dirty little seat pockets when you know you have to use them because that's all the space you have. The next thing I have are my AirPod Pros and then I keep with me this little, these are little dongles to hold them. So these magnetically go together but I can put my AirPod Pros right in here and wrap this around my neck so if they fall out, they don't get lost. These are great because they allow me to have my AirPods in, listen to music or watch a video, but then if I fall asleep and one of them falls out, it's just gonna stay right here, or if I wanna take them both out, I can just simply magnetically put them together and they're just going to hang right here at my neck and not get lost roll under the seat in front of me, which has happened, which is why I have these. So these are a great thing to have if you have ear pods. Because there's no wires or anything in it, it's just a little silicone strap. I can tie this right into a little knot and just keep it handy, just like this. I don't have to worry about it and just keep those with my ear pods. And speaking of ear pods, I also carry one of these Airfly devices. This will end will plug into the headrest and allow you to Bluetooth connect to your ear pods so that you can listen to the movie or music that's on the plane and that way you can not have to have a wired attachment. This, this will be your dongle and it'll connect to your ear pods with Bluetooth. If you're going to watch something, you're going to want something to put your phone into and something like this works great. This has an expansion here to hold your phone and then this slide here allows you to attach it to the tray table or to the headrest. It's going to allow you to maneuver it in a lot of different ways. You can have it forwards or backwards or even if you just want to stand on your own. And for those of you like me that tend to film on the plane, this makes a great way for you to be able to film on the plane and it folds up nice and compact just like this. A lot of times I'm doing a video on the plane and I'm going to need a light, something that's going to allow me to have some different light. This also allows me to angle the light down so I can actually hook this onto a laptop or something and angle my light down toward my tray table or my laptop. Or if I'm looking for something in here, I can light it all up. And this is USB rechargeable and a great little light to have just, um, like I said, as a selfie light or to look for some things. Of course, I always carry some tissues with me on the plane. And of course, I always carry my multi-tool, which for me carries a lot of different things. And this is TSA approved to carry. It has a tiny little pen right here. And yes, it does work. I've actually used it. It also has a tiny little toothpick. Or if you want, this is a great thing to use if you need to clear out your ear pods or something. This little pick works great for that. So that's in here as well. And I don't necessarily use it as a toothpick. It's a little large for that. It also has a teeny tiny pair of tweezers right here if you need to pick a splinter or something. It also has a small pair of scissors. And if you crochet like me sometimes, that's great to have. Also has a little glass nail file. And it also has a tiny little pry screwdriver combo thing here. And last but not least, it has a tiny little magnifier so that if I wanted to read like this fine print, it's going to be able to bring it up so that I can read it. Because even sometimes with glasses, I have a hard time reading. So this is my multi-tool for travel. With carrying a multi-tool like this, you're going to want to check with your region. And every TSA agent is different. I have never had this taken from me. I've never even had anyone look at it, but there have been people who claim that, hey, they've had it taken. So you just want to use some caution. If you're in a place where they're very strict, you may not want to bring something like this, but if not, this is a great handy thing to have just because of all the little tools that are inside of it. I also carry a little bit of gum with me because sometimes my ears need to pop. It's also great if someone's feeling sick, this little bit of mint will sometimes be able to get somebody to feel better. And I also carry my teeny tiny little pop-up fan because sometimes it gets a little bit hot on those flights. It's hot. My age, this is an important thing to carry. This is my last pocket here, so let's see what we have. In here I have my Clorox wipe because I like to wipe down everything on the plane, my belt buckle, the seat the tray table, and even the little handle on the um, window cover. 
I also carry a couple of these little antibacterial moist wipes with me because I don't necessarily want to carry a big pack of wipes with me because I'm trying to keep this slender, so these work great as well. And I always carry one of these air sickness bags. Now, I, a lot of you who have seen my videos know that I'm always bringing one of these little air sickness bags with me. And Southwest Airlines, God bless them, at least provides these little plastic type of ones. So A, if you're sick, it's gonna hold it, but I use these for garbage and I just take this little tie area right here and I twist it around the actual tray table leg and that way I can throw all my garbage in here and that way when they come around to collect all the garbage just pick it up and throw it away and there's nothing in the seat pocket in front of me anything wet's going to be contained in here and it's just a great thing to have even if you don't use it for that for garbage let's say you're on your trip and you know, you, you've gone out to dinner and you've got a little piece of something left over. You've gone out, you know, you're street shopping and you've got a little piece of food left over. This little bag, you can put it right in here. It's plastic and take that little bit of food home with you. And for those of you who haven't seen the video, I've actually used these as a little luminary where I put a little bit of those tiny little wine bottle lights in here and set that on the table just to make it kind of nice and romantic on my trip. So multi-use and I think these little plastic bags are great to always have on hand. And last but not least, I do bring a N95 mask with me just in case I feel like I'm coming down with something or someone next to me is uncomfortable with me not having a mask on, I will put one on. And that's everything in my little pack. There are a couple of other things that I bring with me on every trip, but they don't necessarily fit in that waste pack. And that is collapsible water bottles and an insulated thermos. And these, one of these, and one of these types of things always come with me on my trips. I always use this with hot water. I will go up to a coffee station or a restaurant and ask them to please fill this with hot water. And I make sure I tip when I do that. And they usually do it for free. So I have hot water on my flight for soup or tea or coffee, and I can make it whenever I want it. And then what I do is I use my little, I use my little clip here and I just clip this on my little hero clip here and that way I can open this up and it'll hang like either on the seat in front of me or on the tray leg of my tray table but this keeps it really handy and close in hand. Now I love these collapsible water bottles because when I'm done drinking this is what they come up into but I just love that I can open these up and fill them up. And this one here is like 500 liters, not a huge amount. So this is great if I'm going out hiking or something. These take up so little room in your pack just to bring them along. So when I get to my destination and if I'm gonna go take a little walk and I want some water, I have this. And then I can put a little carabiner on it if I wanna hook it onto a backpack or something. And then I also have a larger one here that it's nice because it'll actually stand up. So if I fill this one up here, it'll actually just fill on up and become a nice standing water bottle for me that I can use on the plane. It's kind of been folded for a while, but yeah, it'll stand right on up. It also has something I can hook it to the seat pocket in front of me. And it has um, a nice place to fill it, a wide mouth to fill it, but it also has this little sippy area so I can sip as I go. And that way, if we hit turbulence or something and this starts to fall over, it's not gonna be all over the person and anyone else next to me or all over me. So that's what I like about these. And again, they just completely smash up into nothing. This is a one liter bottle. So these come in a variety of sizes and they have these all over Amazon on too, but I'll link everything in the video description below as I usually do so you can get access to a lot of these great things for your next adventure. So you notice that my pack doesn't have anything to do with food other than some gum or mints and that's because I have a completely different pack that I pack with me for food and that changes with every flight depending on where I'm going and who I'm going with. I have several of those videos up on my channel so I'll put a link up here, <laughs> up here somewhere to let you access those videos as well. Some of them are bento boxes, some of them are just little snackle boxes, but there's always something for everybody to pack a little bit of snacks on your flight. And I'll tell you, I'm not a big snacker, but boy, when your flight's delayed like four or five hours and you get into an airport and it's really late and everything's closed, you're gonna be really glad you had a little bit of something with you. So I always pack a little something to eat and drink on my flight. Now, for those of you who say, look, I'm not gonna wear a fanny pack and have that on the plane or anything, I'm just not cool with that, 
I have another option for you. All of this fits into this. This is your solution if you don't want to carry a waste pack on you because this has everything you just saw, including my iPad and including the waste pack and the water bottle <laughs> in here so you can take it out and use it on the plane. But everything you saw is stuffed into 12 pockets that I have on this vest. You'll see everything slowly coming out of here like my mask, my tissues, my battery pack, and the cord, air sickness bag, ear pods, dongles, and lights, multi-tool and gum, mints and lip gloss. I feel some stuff in here still. Oh, another pocket. 12 pockets, folks. My phone stand, my Bluetooth connector for my AirFly, my little fan, my toothpick, hand sanitizers, and some disinfectant. And last but not least, that large pocket in the back fits in my iPad and my little plastic bag to protect it. So all of that fit into this vest right here. And so that makes this my favorite travel vest. So these are all the things that I keep on the shorter flights. I would say anything two and a half hours or less, that's what I carry with me. If I'm going on a long haul flight, something maybe six or more hours, I have a totally different bag that I pack for that. And I'll have to make another video for you on that. If you'd like to see that video, please comment below. Long haul bag, please. And I'll put that video together for you. I'd like to know what are some of your favorite items that you carry on your little personal item that keep you comfortable and just make your flight so much easier. Put those in the comments below because all of us would love to know what you have and modify our little packing things because you know these days we're all having to do it. As usual, I'll put links in the video description below to almost everything that you see in the video. Some of these things are older, so I'll try to find some substitutes, but I'll put links below. I wanna thank you for joining me today on this crazy packing video. I put some sort of packing or organization video out every week, so I'd love for you to come back and join me. And as always, juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple, subscribe to my channel, like this video. I'll see you in the next video.